Hi everybody, this is Mr. Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. Today we're coming to you from a little different perspective. I got the camera shining right down on the work. And what we're going to do today is we're going to mash about 10 or 12 pounds of orange habanero peppers. And the reason I want to show this to you is I'm going to be putting these, mashing these in an experimental container. This is a one gallon mason jar, but it has a lid that I built with a somewhat special vacuum valve. This valve is designed to withstand about two PSI of positive pressure from the inside of this jar. What that'll do is once we vacuum it out, and once the jar starts to produce carbon dioxide gas, and it begins to produce acetic acid, it will allow a little bit of pressure to build up, about 2 PSI, before it can vent through this valve. What that'll cause, it'll cause a little more infusion of carbon dioxide into the mash, which should give us a little more zest and a little more uh, effervescence in this mash when we go to use it. Stand by with me while we destem and mash about 10 pounds of beautiful orange habanero peppers. As we pull the stem off, we press the pepper to make sure it's good and firm and clean on the inside. Because we're actually not going to have to cut these peppers in order to grind them up for the mash. All these peppers have been washed in uh, warm water very thoroughly and air dried. Habaneras take up a lot of room for the small amount of weight they have because they're very thin skinned and uh, there's a rather large empty cavity inside of a habanero pepper. So a whole pan full of them is way less in pounds than it appears. Of course you can see I'm wearing gloves. Some people aren't so irritated by hot peppers. My skin is very sensitive to them, so I'm pretty careful. I wouldn't dare handle uh, habaneros, especially with bare hands. And to be honest, I don't like to handle anything jalapeno and hot with bare hands. These habaneros are considerably hotter than jalapenos. For those of you that are familiar with those, uh, in the neighborhood of 25 to 50 times hotter than jalapenos. I tell you, nothing's prettier than a gigantic bowl full of uh, the very colorful peppers like red or orange habaneros, yellow habaneros, red serranos, green serranos, beautiful peppers. A lot of sauce makers and pepper processors simply create the mash with the stem still on the pepper. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but uh, I don't like to do it because the stem's not part of the fruit. And what I like for my peppers to have only what I want in them, which is the fruit and any spices or additives I think are necessary to make a good sauce. So, I go to the trouble of de them all. I think as most uh, high quality artists and short batch processors do the same thing. Well, that's the end. That's a lot of habanero peppers. To do my mashing today, I'm going to use my 10 year old Ninja because it does a fine job of rough cutting peppers. 
Doesn't do so good for finishing sauces, but it does really good for rough cutting mashing peppers. We're going to weigh this so we can calculate our salt. This weighs 3,192 grams. So 4% of that would be 124 grams of salt. I'm going to put this container on here. I'm going to tear it out. I'm going to pour in 124 grams of salt. Now we poke this down a little bit, pour a little bit of salt in, break it down some, pour a little more in, break it down. Clean your top off. And I'm gonna screw on these special gallon lids that I made with the special valve that holds several PSI above ambient inside the jar. And we're gonna draw a vacuum. Now to do this, here at home, I've only got a hand vacuum. I place this on there. And I will start pumping. Now I'm able to draw this vacuum down to about 20 inches of mercury, which is fine for a pepper mash. And folks, there we have. A gigantic gallon jar packed to the top with mash, vacuumed down to 20 inches of mercury, and in about two weeks, three weeks, this is going to be ready to make hot sauce. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.